Hello everybody, Dark Phoenix Ninja 92 here, and welcome back to Let's Play Skyrim. As you may have noticed, we fixed the little problem I was having. So, the word wall is functional, and I can indeed advance the quest. But the thing is, that happened after I'd already advanced it with the console, because I'd run out of ideas on what to do. So, we'll see if that causes any problems in the future. I'm hoping it doesn't, but you never know. <clears throat> in any case, it was just advancing at one stage, so I'm hopeful it won't. Anyways, this also means, luckily for me, that we get the loot. Mm that we would otherwise be denied from the creature we're about to kill. But let's head over here. This calls to me. What is this word? Oh, fuck me. Well, it started working now. That was annoying and baffling. Everybody, real life stuff again. And you, time to pull the lever. I have had enough of this slash tomb to last me a lifetime. And I don't suspect that I'll be coming back here. So I sure as hell am not going to be making a full barrel a second hole or anything.
not running properly because of some scripting bullshit. Whatever. Like I was saying.
very interesting. Especially the fact that it is so much about learning about the world around you. So you can even gain your skill about everything, including people and dragons. I just think that's cool.
now the recording FPS is not quite as fast as the in-game FPS it is reported to be. This is not at all. Seriously, they should be identical. Sorry about that. Hit another interruption in real life. This is what I get for trying to live at home and record. Maybe I should have just put my whole channel on hold until I found my own place and didn't have to live with my father. Nah, I'm just fucking with you, of course. If I tried that, I would not be let's playing until pretty much the end of time. And the fucking game is lagging. And the game crashed. Lovely. I do so hate it when that happens. But anyways, the lion needs some sleep. We'll get seven hours this time. Then do our usual thing. And eat, drink, sell things. Then go see Ferengar. I guess. And yeah, as you may have seen, this time we were basically too exhausted to even take off our armor and she just collapsed in bed. Our thirst has been quenched. Some bread. Go and see Luke, uh, Luke and Valerius, and return his golden claw. I think.
no idea what's causing us. I want to we'll look into that when I get a chance. May the gods watch over your battles, friend. Take a look. Alright. You have 600 some odd gold. I'll keep the ancient Nord arrows. I need them. I'm going to sell the great sword of ice, even though the price is giving is absolute pittance, because we're not going to use a great sword and we're not going to learn about enchanting. So it's not useful to us. Fine iron sword you can have. Since I have a steel broadsword. Um, steel is better than iron. Iron Nodachi I'm gonna keep just because it's cool. Alright then. Now quick save. Just in case the game decides to be funny with me. Show those thieves not to steal from Luke and Valerius! This happened with some guards earlier on. Entering and exiting the building. The sooner you find the claw, the sooner. I'm gonna see. Welcome back, everyone. As you may have guessed after the abrupt ending just now, the game crashed. And not only did it crash, but I had some very annoying mod problems where for some reason the game. Nexus Mod Manager, rather, went and reactivated some of my default plugins that made it crash every time I started it. So, let me explain. Basically, I have a few plugins I have sitting in Nexus that are deactivated because they require files that I'm not currently using, but I don't want to get rid of them in case I eventually decide to use those. So I just have them unchecked. Nexus Mod Manager decided to recheck them, and I didn't notice. And so, when I tried to relaunch the game after it crashed, it would crash on startup. <clears throat> and so, it's now the next day. Anyways, we have no texture problems with these two currently, and I have a golden claw to deliver. Show those thieves not to steal! The sooner you find the claw, the sooner our lives can get back to normal. Okay, here's your golden claw. I expect you found some cash. It. <laughs> there it is! Strange. It, it seems smaller than I remember. <laughs> Are you insinuating? Funny thing, huh? Are you insinuating that I'm going to put this back where it belongs? To get I'll never extra forget money, this. Lucan. You've done a great thing for me and my sister. Where's my gold? Hello? You promised me gold. Oh, there we go. Just a slight delay. 400 septims for retrieving the golden claw. Meaning we now have 1220 gold. And if I wanted to burn it all right now, I could it just buy it. It means so a much horse. to us to have the claw back where it belongs. Thank you. But, of course, I'm not going to do that, and we can just take these septums right off his counter. So, let's see. Should I do that? Let me think. 
not going to steal that. But he's offering us a few free items, some arrows, and a bit of extra gold. I don't see any reason we shouldn't take advantage of that. I mean, it's a bit gamey to just be pocketing things like this. But the lion is going to need supplies. We're going to be traveling a lot in Skyrim and all that. And now, quick save, just in case the game crashes again. As now we have to make our way to Whiterun again. And sorry everyone, I still have to fix the stutter problem, so we're still getting those. Now though... We have to deliver the Dragonstone to Farangar. But we also have a quest to investigate Brittleshin Pass over here. But I think that can wait until another time. because. In Elias' mind, we were asked to d retrieve this stone by the court wizard. And Everything I all right? Think that is the priority. The dragon stone is falling off. We're going in the wrong direction. Well done, me. <laughs> Don't cross me, elf. I don't like your attitude. Let's see. How are we doing for food and water? We have one container of water left. You're new around here, so I'll go easy on you. That's not enough. But don't get on my bad side. So we need to pay a visit to the inn to sure up our water supplies. I mean, sure, we could wait until we're in White Run. But I'd rather not push my luck. Who knows what we'll encounter on the way, after all. Come on in. Just stoke the fire. We got rooms and food. Drink, too. I cook. Ain't much else to tell. Okay, I'd like some water. We'll get a few of these. Need a room? Talk to Delphi. All right then. I'm just a cook, lass. How much food mm -hmm. do we have now? Let's see, that's five. I ain't looking to make friends. Let's get a few more. All right then. You like skeever liver? No? Seven, eight. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, that's plenty of water for now. Food's but... hot. Never said it was good. Let's check. I'm looking for work. You have any leads around here? Here, take a look at this. Some of the Jarl's men came by and left this bounty letter. Another bounty. Bandit leader mm -hmm. of the Holted Stream Camp. I can do that. I mean, the pay's crap, but it's a decent job to pass the time with. Where's Holted Stream Camp? Oh, just north of White Run. Wait on us, though. Uh, 
and Frostfall is being a little bitch again. I may have to restart the game to get rid of that. Oh, that's right. We had some other stuff we were going to sell once we got ourselves um, to Lucan's trading place. So I'll have to visit them again. So... Should bump our income up a little more. It means so much to us to have the claw back where it Thank belongs. Thank you so much for taking care of the. Oh, a bit of this and a bit of that. <laughs> Best sales pitch ever. Here, I have a staff of frostbite. He gives us crap for it, but we're just getting rid of excess weight at the moment, really, so it doesn't bother me. Is this frost cloak I'm keeping? That. Half. We want the burlap cloak for when it's wet out. Heavy leather backpack. It's only an extra two points. Not really worth it, in my opinion. But we'll keep that to give to any potential companion to pick up on the way. You can have that. You can have that. We only need one Timberwolf skin cloak. We already have the burlap cloak, so we can get rid of that. I'm going to sell all our potions of magic. Everything else we'll keep. And I'm holding on to these scrolls because Elia's not a magic user, but she doesn't have anything against using magical scrolls. And we're actually going to sell our wine. That tome. Yeah. Let's see, as far as books go, I don't see the one we're looking for. <coughs> we'll have to go to an actual mm -hmm. bookstore, I guess. It's a fine day with you around. Lucan, we don't sell silver buckles, do we? Go back to Elias' house and store some fun things. And uh, good lord, one of my mods is acting up. It's that face to face one. It thinks we're still in a face to face conversation. Oh, uh, good, not supposed to fight yourself. When that happens, so. And as a result, I'm heading in the wrong direction. Like sir. If you want to keep helping, how about you make some armor? I'm sure, you have yeah. the right raw materials. Make some armor. Yeah. We've got some stuff to store this way. Again, quick saving, just in case. I'm paranoid the game will crash on me when it's going to. Well, it's a damn damn good thing I quick saved there because the game just crashed on me. So let's try this again. Here we are, and it's 
store some of our excess loot that we'll come back and sell at a later date. Or hold on to because of reasons. Who can say, really? The no dot is going to be kept. Right now, we don't really need a pickaxe or woodcutter's axe, but who knows when that will change. So I'm keeping them. Here we're gonna store some of the stuff that will be ours on a more permanent basis, but we don't want to be lugging around. Like my crossbow. them our steel tanto. We don't need both that and the broadsword. As well as the heavy leather backpack. Gloves, boots, wolf skin, cloak of resist frost, and belt tunic. I'm not going to be lugging around my mm, scrolls, because those are something we use when we need them. And I don't want them with me all the damn time. I'll keep the amethysts and soul gems and what have you to sell. Minus the salt, of course, because we can use that to cook. 